Hello, welcome back. The title here is called Understanding Volume with Pictures and Models. This is part one. The idea in this lesson is to go from the concept of area, which we learned uh, in the last lesson, to talk about one step beyond area, which is called the volume of an object. So in this lesson, we're going to concentrate on understanding what volume is in terms of pictures and models, and then later on we'll learn how to calculate volume. So in a nutshell, when you have the volume of an object, let's say you're talking about this three-dimensional object. This is a cube here. We want to know how much space this cube occupies. How do we figure that out? Remember, for surface area, let's say we were trying to find the area of this board. I would divide the board into little squares, and so I would count the squares, and it would be called square uh, square centimeters or square millimeters, and I would count them up, and that would be the area of this flat board. But what do I do when I have the volume of an object like this? Instead of counting squares, I'm going to count cubes. It might be tough for you to see, but this model has little cubes all the way, and you can see there's cubes here and there's cubes here, and you can think of this large cube uh, as being uh, how many cubes can I fit inside of this thing? I would count them all, and that would tell me how large this thing is in terms of, uh, of, of cubic, cubic centimeters or cubic inches or cubic miles or cubic yards or cubic light years or whatever. So instead of square inches, for volume, we talk about cubic inches. For area, instead of square meters, we talk about in volume cubic meters. So it's the same concept. It's just that in a flat, in a flat sheet to find area, we just count squares on the sheet. But when we have a three-dimensional shape in space, how much space does it occupy? We don't count squares, we count cubes. So it's called cubic meters or cubic centimeters and so on. So let's say for our first problem, we have a cube like this. And we know that this side of the cube is, uh, well, this is really not a cube. It's a, it's a rectangular, it, all the dimensions are not the same size, but you get the idea. This side, this face of it is a cube. Three centimeters, three centimeters. And the depth of the cube, how, or the depth of the object is not quite three. It's a little bit shorter in the, in the direction of the board. That's two centimeters. How do I measure how much space this thing occupies? For that, I'm going to be talking about the volume. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is let's just look at the bottom layer of this thing. If I just cut everything off and look at the bottom layer, let's see what that would look like. All right, if I slice everything off, notice this is still three centimeters and then going deep into the board, it's still two centimeters. Same dimensions as what I've had. All I've done is I've cut everything away and I'm only, only looking at the bottom layer. I can form a cube here that is one centimeter uh, in each direction and also one centimeter deep. We call it a cubic centimeter because just like a square centimeter is one centimeter on each side, a cubic centimeter is a cube, a little bitty cube like here, one centimeter in, in depth, one centimeter in width, and one centimeter in height. One of these things is called a cubic uh, centimeter, just like in my little model here, one of these little cubes down here is called a, uh, would be called in that case a cubic centimeter as well. So if I slice it up and I have one, two, three cubes, and then four, five, six cubes, I have six cubes on the bottom. So the volume of just this slice of the object is one, two, three, four, five, six cubic centimeters. But the real object is all of that plus everything above it. So in order to find the volume of the whole object, we have to take this six, and then we have to count everything that's above it as well which this is the original shape. You can compare this one to this one. It's the original shape, but now we have sliced cubes into the thing, and we knew that there were six on the bottom layer, but now we have another layer of six, and then we have another layer of six. So we have six plus six more cubes plus six more cubes. So six times three, as another way to think about that, is 18. So if you wanted to find the volume of this thing, the volume V, it's going to be 18, and it's going to be cubic centimeters. 18 cubic centimeters. Why is it 18? Because what we do is we take the shape. We knew that the shape was three centimeters tall and three centimeters wide and only two centimeters deep into the board. So we know that a, a, a centimeter, a, a square here, since it's three tall, there has to be three of these little squares uh, with one centimeter each going up and then one centimeter each going this way and one centimeter each going this way. So when we take a look at it, we just start by looking at the base and we count six of those squares, 
cubes, I'm sorry, six of those cubes. And then we have six more, that would be 12, and then six more for a total of 18. So the volume of this object is 18, and the unit is not square centimeters. The, the unit for all volume is cubic centimeters, or cubic meters, or cubic millimeters, or cubic yards, or cubic miles, or cubic light years. You get the idea, it's always cubic because we're seeing how much space it takes up in a cube, little cubes that fit inside. Last thing I will tell you, this lesson is mostly trying to get you to understand the concept. 18 cubic centimeters, we can count them and we see that there's 18 cubes there. But I want you to think for a second. Remember that area of a sheet is length times width, right? Length times width. What if I take three times two? Three times two is six. That's the area of the bottom of the cube, when you think about it. I mean, if this is a cube here and it was three times two, then, then you multiply them, that's the area of the bottom. Three times two is six. But if I multiply the six times the three here, six times three, that's 18, 18. So the point of this lesson is not to calculate the area. I want to count the cubes. But I also want to tell you that to find the area of a sheet, it's just length times width. To find the volume of some kind of cube or some kind of rectangular shape in three-dimensional space, we call it a rectangular prism. The way you do it is you take length times width times height, right? Length times width times height. So you can do it any order you want. Three times two is six. Six times three is 18. Let's go in another order. Three times three is nine. And then nine times two is also 18. So to find the volume of any rectangular solid like that, you just do length times width times height. Now let me go take this down and we'll get some more examples so that you can get practice. All right, here's our next problem. We have a rectangular solid, or also called a rectangular prism, that's two millimeters on the bottom by two millimeters deep, and then it's in height, it's four millimeters tall. How do we find the volume? What we want to do is figure out how many cubes fit inside of this, but the units are in millimeters. So it's going to be cubic millimeters. How many cubes can I fit where each cube is one millimeter on an edge? How many will fill inside this whole thing? So first we take a look at the bottom part. The bottom part, remember, was two millimeters wide and two millimeters deep. So if it's two millimeters wide, a cube one millimeter long, I'll fit two of them there. And if it's two millimeters deep, I'll fit two one millimeter uh, cubes there. So you can see how many cubes will I have? I'll have one, two, three, four cubes that are each, this is one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter. So I have four of these cubes, which are cubic millimeters. So I have four of them right here. And then if I look at the rest of the shape, I have four of them on the bottom layer, four of them here, four of them here, and then four of them here. So it's four, eight, 12, 16. Just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 of them. So I would say the volume is 16 cubic millimeters. So that means that there are 16 cubes that fit inside of the shape where each cube has one millimeter on each edge. Now I mentioned to you that to find the volume by calculation, you just take the length times the width times the height. So two times two is four, and this four times two, I'm sorry, four times two is, uh, I'm sorry, two times two is four, and then four times four is 16. So the formula holds, but I want to stress in this lesson more how to count them than anything else. So let's take this one down and do another one. All right, the next problem, we have a rectangular solid like this with five meters on this side and three meters tall, and the depth into the board is four meters. So how do we find the volume of this? We wanna find out how many uh, cubic meters, which are little cubes that each have a length of one meter on each side, how many will fit in this? So let's look first at the bottom layer, five, and four deep. So here, again, it's five wide and four deep. How many cubes are just in that layer? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five meters, and one, two, three, four meters. So we have, in terms of cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 cubes just in the bottom layer of this thing. Now let's look at the rest of the drawing and see how many more we have. We have 20 in the lowest layer. So we have 20 cubes in the lower layer, 20 more cubes in the middle layer, and 20 more cubes in the top layer. So just like counting by twos, two, four, six, you can count by twenties, 20, then there's 40, then there's 60. 
So there's 60 cubes in that whole thing. So the volume is 60 cubic meters. 60 cubic meters. Now let's see if by calculating by multiplying, it works. Five times four is 20, and then the 20 times three, 20, 40, 60, is 60. So multiplying length times width times height, again, also gives us the volume. We'll take this down, and we have one more left in this lesson. All right, here's our last problem of this lesson. We have uh, a, a, a rectangular solid that's uh, two centimeters wide, three centimeters tall, and four centimeters deep into the board. How many cubic centimeters are going to fit in? Let's take a look at only the bottom layer. So if this was two wide and four deep, there must be uh, two cubes, each of one centimeter here, and then one, two, three, four, four uh, going back, each of one centimeter. So we have one cube, two cubes, three cubes, four cubes, five cubes, six, seven, eight cubes. So just on the bottom layer, we have eight, uh, eight cubes. Notice two times four is eight, okay? And then how many layers do we have? So if we have eight here, and then eight here, and then eight here, eight times three is what? Eight times three is 24. So the volume is eight times three, 24 cubic centimeters. 24 cubic centimeters. And also remember that we can also calculate it by multiplying. Two times four is eight, and then eight times three is 24 cubic centimeters. So the point of this lesson really was to get you to understand what volume is. Just like area is just counting squares in a flat plane and how many squares fit on the surface, that's why we call it surface area. Volume is when we have a three-dimensional shape, how many cubes, unit cubes, cubic meters, cubic centimeters, will fit inside of an object. And just like area, to find the area, you'd multiply length times width. Well, to find the volume of a rectangular solid like this, you just do length times width times height, right? So you just have one more multiplication and you get the volume. So in this lesson, that's what we covered. I'd like you to solve these yourself. Follow me on to part two. We'll get a little more practice with understanding volume using models.